Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Spyro, Year of the Dragon. I am Rufal, playing this game for you. Woo! Hell no, that money bags and most of the, uh, gem options are off of the map. Let's get back to dealing with regular levels. Starting with the haunted tube over here. Place where you would think we would find the Tomb Raider, but instead we find Egyptian dogs. Ah! Yet another daredevil adventurer has come to rob our catacombs of loot! Apparently. Let's just hope you're made of tougher stuff than the last guy. If you can survive the trials of our catacombs and answer my riddle, we will give you a prize befitting your efforts. Mm. So, is your riddle any good? Here is my riddle. I am a vessel without hinges, lock or lid. Yet within my walls, a golden treasure is hid. What am I? Oh, I think I know what you are. Don't try to answer the riddle now. You'll need to save your breath to survive the trials of the catacombs. Oh. So yeah, to answer the riddle, we need to reach that dog up there. Fair enough, I suppose. Hello, sir! Ow! Hurt! Unfortunately, that mummy is just going to, uh, get another mummy out of the sarcophagus. So, we need- to, so we'll want to actually destroy the sarcophagus. But, we need... A better weapon for that. This will do. Explosive solution. Yes, the rocks that these earth shapers throw at us, they... They do explode after a while, if left on the ground, or make con or after making contact with the face. Clear off, punk. Fortunately, they won't explode while Spyro has them in his jaws. It's particularly good, because I imagine that would be painful. You guys only think you can charge at the dragon and get away with it. Thank you. And also for no particularly good reason. There's a skill point at the end of this little tunnel. Oh, well, whatever. That little beetle over there is the water creature for the area. But, uh... I'm going to leave it alone, as, uh, health can prove somewhat sparse in this place. Hey, you! Thank you. Get back in here. Get back in your coffin. I could use another one, sir! Thank you. Please, sir, uh, I'd like some more.
And one more for the showmanship. Yay! Make sure I've gotten everything. Yeah, Sparks will tell me. <laughs> oh! Hello, Gem! because sparks ate the dragonfly or the butterfly could be the thing you know First round of the annual demolition hovercraft competition is about to begin. Oh. There is room for one more contestant, but you'll have to answer a riddle to qualify. Okay. The riddle is this. If one dragon can lay one egg in 12 years, uh -huh. how long would it take for 100 dragons to lay 100 eggs? Supposing all the dragons can lay the eggs. Twelve years. Very impressive. That is correct. Good luck in the demolition hovercraft competition. Math can be hard, I see. Alright. Hover tanks! Much like the ones we use to fight the sorceress. Only somehow worse. Where are the opposing hover tanks? There's one. Mm -hmm. 
Funnily enough, you can use the AI's uh, capacity for attempt attempts at uh, hiding behind cover to just kind of snipe them. Oh. I was wondering. Gotcha. <laughs> That's Alright, now for this guy. That was a fierce battle indeed. Please accept this prize for winning the first round. I don't know if I'd describe it as fierce. It looked a lot more like modern tank warfare. Hey there, MJ. Hey, he comes with skills. You may now enter the championship round. However, this is an exceedingly dangerous sport. Might I suggest you quit while you're still in one piece? I'd love to quit, but I also need that prize. My, my! Such a brave reptile you are. But you'll need much more than bravery to win the championship. Don't worry, I come complete with lots of stupidity. I mean, skill. another aggressive tank to start. <laughs> if I was that guy, I'd be pretty worried that he, that, uh, that clearly he has position was known. But I'm not that guy, so uh it's not with us anymore. <laughs> oh sir. Punk. Gotcha. Pop. Everyone else out in the open. There's one.
If I fight them, I can just make them dodge into my own bullet. Dodge into my bullets. That was indeed a battle for the ages. You're the first dragon to win the competition in over a thousand years. Go figure. I proudly present you this year's grand prize. And our prize is... An egg, of course. What were you expecting? Come on, TJ. Alright. Ah. Reach the top. How do, Pooch? I see you've managed to survive the trials of the catacombs. Now let's find out if your wits are as quick as your feet. Do you remember the riddle? Well, even if I didn't, you're gonna tell me again. I am a vessel without hinges, lock or lid. Yet, within my walls, a golden treasure is hid. What am I? You, sir, are an egg. Hmm. Have you heard that one before? I never thought you'd get it. <laughs> Very well. A bargain is a bargain. You may have the dragon egg that I was guarding from the sorceress. So seriously, how could her Rhinox not figure that one out? Or even her? Let's not worry about it, Will. Good catch. I've waited 7,000 years for someone to solve that riddle. Now, I can finally head off to Seashell Shore to bury some bones. Right, well, off you go then. Oh, locals are akin to, uh, people of, uh, Homestar Runner people, I see. Oh well. Hey there, Malcolm. Get everything on the slide. Seems that way. Straight, straight ahead. Aha! Oh! Find the big rocks. There's the next one. Right. Well, that takes care of that. And because we answered the riddle, we don't need to push the buttons to open the doors anymore. I'm not sure that they give us a quick path uh, through, uh, through here. Uh, doesn't look it, so I'm not gonna go that way. Instead, we'll re we'll play with Agent Nine. One of those dogs with funny hats put a curse on me just because I shot him in the butt a couple of times. <laughs> he said he turned my tail into a snake. Does it look like a snake to you? It uh, does feel kind of funny. Come to think of it, oh boy, that dog's gonna pay. <laughs> Speaking of dogs. More because of what he's gonna put us through. Behind this door lie the five deadly trials of King Rover. No one has ever survived all five. In fact, it is so dangerous that I cannot let you through this first door unless you are able to solve my riddle. Okay. Here's the riddle. I follow you wherever you go. But the more of me you take, 
the more you leave behind. Ha! Huh. Won't that be? Well... My, my. You're quite clever for someone with so little fashion sense. You may proceed to the first trial. Should have chosen your words better. So, what's the trial? Well, basically just some enemy gauntlets. Round two. We have baskets that are full of snakes. Basically, if we don't destroy the baskets, then the snakes will just respawn. Naturally, of course, our best defensive strategy is to just fire randomly. Mummies! All that again. This door. Including the riddle. Mine. This isn't gonna get old fast. Yes, I am referring to shooting you, Pooch. Sadly, we can't just snipe everything before coming in. Spawning mummies. Ah! Pardon me, sir. 
Alright, sir, there's no autographs. Ah! Get out of my face! Oh! If I could control the camera, this would be so much easier. I suppose that's the point. Final challenge. on so much of this nonsense. Ah! Not liking you, dog. Mostly because you keep bothering me with that stupid riddle. Honor. Hello, round five.
Fat Punk. Hello. Thank you. Find you. Wherever you are. Aha. All right. Well, that takes care of that. Come on, Roxy. Uh, oh. Unfortunately, I can't go back and and uh, shoot that dog some more time. So uh, we'll just have to settle for the end of the level. Next time, well, we'll go to Cowboy Dinosaur Land. See you then. Later.